One of my favorite vegetable sides to make is a simple ginger shoestring medley of zucchini, yellow squash, and carrot. And I want to show you how quick and easy this is to do today. I'm going to use a mandolin to slice these into long, thin shoestrings, but any slicing device you have at home uh, will work. What I'm going to do first is cut off the tips of the zucchini and the yellow squash. I'm going to leave them in full pieces rather than cutting them in half because I want to get really long pieces. It just looks even nicer on the plate to do that. Now I've set my uh, julienne blade on the mandolin. Um, I have a glove here. Uh, you don't really need this, I don't think. It's not essential, but a lot of folks are squeamish about using these devices, so I thought I would show you this today. It does give you a, an extra measure of protection when you're working. And what we're going to do here is, starting with the zucchini, is just simply run it all the way through, pushing down pretty hard as we go so we get good uniform slices. Now after you go through about two or three slices, you're going to get to seeds, and the seeds don't really work well in this preparation. So once you hit that, you'll want to make a quarter turn and slice down again to the seeds and another quarter turn until you've worked all the way around. Same thing with the yellow squash. You really want to keep a, some good steady pressure on these as you go so that you get nice uniform slices. Now I'm going to also do carrot, but I want to do that separately a little bit here because it's going to go into the pan first. It needs a little more time to cook than these two. There are no seeds in the carrot obviously to deal with so you can pretty much use the entire thing and just run that through. If the end gets too flimsy you can snap it off and just keep on going. The exact amount of any of these that you use is really totally up to you. If you like a lot of carrot, go with even more. Okay, so there we have our veggies ready to go. A little bit of fresh ginger. I'm gonna go ahead and do this before these veggies get in the pan because this saute is a super quick thing. I'm just going to take two or three slivers of fresh ginger there and slice it up and then get it pretty finely diced. Now, we have our ingredients ready to go. I'm going to get my pan super hot. Uh, you don't want to use olive oil for this because olive oil doesn't like high heat like uh, oil such as canola, peanut, corn, safflower do. So I'm going with the canola oil and just a little teeny bit. I'm literally going to heat this pan until I see the oil start to smoke and that's when I know the pan's hot enough for me to begin cooking. You can see that I have smoke there. I'm going to go in first with the carrots. They need an extra minute to cook. Don't be afraid of leaving your pan nice and hot. If it starts to get too hot and blacken in the bottom, then of course you'd want to turn it back. But if it's just sort of gently smoking along and you're not seeing any blackening, then you can feel free to let that go. Once the carrot has had 30, 40 second head start, you can go in with the rest of your veggies. The ginger is going to really become fragrant and flavorful in a very short period of time in the pan. So I tend not to add that until I've gotten these veggies in and I'm down to just about 30 seconds of cooking time left. I'm just going to throw in a pinch of this. It's a, maybe a half a teaspoon. It's really up to your taste. It can be pretty overpowering though if you add a lot in my opinion. Grind a pepper and don't be afraid to let it sit at times for 10, 15, 20 seconds at a time. If you move it the entire time it's in the pan you're going to not get as effective a browning. It needs a little bit of uninterrupted contact with that pan to caramelize. Okay, that's really about all the cooking time we want to give these. And you have a nice fresh veggie mix. It's so beautiful, the color contrast, you don't even need a garnish for these. They're just ready to go. Great simple summer vegetable medley.